Hey, gang. Well, the election is over, and we have a new president, and it's Joe Biden, and, um, well, a lot of Trump fans are not very, very happy about this. And I still feel the same way I did before all this nonsense happened. I still couldn't care less who the president is because I still feel that nothing's going to change. The country's still going to be in bad shape, and um, we're still going to have all the terrible things we have in this country. So, no matter how much we want things to change, they're not going to. But when I look at how all this went down, I thought of what happened 20 years ago with the whole uh, Bush Jr. and Al Gore situation, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of like that, you know, recounting, trying to make sure that you know, somebody's an official president and Trump was, what was it? He was, he was planning on suing or pressing charges against certain states that didn't vote for him and all this other stuff. And it's, it's like I said before about the man. He has a huge ego. He couldn't take the fact that he was no longer going to run this country like one of his businesses. He didn't like it. He couldn't take it. And it just, it ate him up inside. And I'm thinking, big whoop. You're a horrible president. So now, you know, Trump's Trump's got the country in his grasp for a few more months, or or at least a couple of more months, or well, maybe like a month and a half, something like that. Anyway, January, Joe Biden will go in to be inaugurated and sworn in, and the whole nine yards of being the president of the United States for at least four years. And boy, won't this be fun! And now apparently there's a there's a rumor going around that Trump is going to try to go for the presidency once again. I don't know if that's really going to happen or not. If it does, oh God. But if he chooses not to, I want to make a very bold prediction right now. And that is, um, I'm going to say that I think that Mike Pence will run for president and Erlavis's running mate. Sarah Palin. It's a long shot. It's crazy, but I say eh, could be better than Trump. But let's talk about this election, though. I mean, it was it was pretty close for a while, but I mean, really, Joe Biden being the president, I guess I, I guess it should not be any kind of a shock. I mean, he was vice president, and and already we're getting people saying it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. You know what? I'm getting tired of hearing that crap because we've been hearing it since. Clinton was president, and that whole school shooting happened, and then Bush Jr. gets in there, and 9-11 happens, and Obama gets in there, and and they started declaring him also as the Antichrist, so yeah, this, this has been going on since Clinton. Clinton with the school shootings, Bush Jr. with, with 9-11, Obama because he was Muslim, Trump because he was Trump. And now they're already saying that Joe Biden is going to be the Antichrist and he's going to end everything. Gang, this has got to stop. I mean, people need to realize that, you know, just because somebody you supported all the way to become whatever you wanted, wanted them to be, mayor, governor, president, ruler of the world, you know, just because you don't like it doesn't mean you got to go around and start telling people and scaring people into believing in your idiotic nonsense. I mean, come on, folks. This whole Antichrist president crap is just that. It's just crap. I mean, I'm not a Biden supporter in any way, shape, or form, but I mean, come on. Four times we've been through this, and now we're going to go through it a fifth time. I don't know if Joe Biden is going to do any good for anybody. I mean, it would be nice if, if within the next four years we have all the problems we have in the world taken care of, you know, better jobs for everybody, better pay for everybody, um, the homeless are going to be, are, are going to be in homes, no more drug dealers. All these prisoners are going to be executed in, in a, in a way that they should be executed without having to cost the taxpayers a whole lot of money. But ultimately though, again, this, this any Christ president crap, it's got to stop. I mean, I, like I said, it, it, this is, this is, this is nonsense. I mean, every time somebody predicts that the Antichrist is is in the White House, what happens? Not much. Not much changes. We're still in bad shape. We're still being led by a moron, and we can't get anything done. So, 
so really, all you all you idiots out there who want to keep saying that so and so is the Antichrist and you know the end of the world is coming, get over yourself. You're just saying this because you're butt hurt because somebody you supported and you liked, well, well, in more ways than one, you didn't really support them. I mean, you just voted for them. You didn't go on TV or say anything about them. And basically, let me just put it to you this way: if you're not a celebrity. Well, your support means nothing to them. I mean, if you're just a regular person like me, your support means nothing. But either way, stop all this Antichrist president crap, okay? Because everybody's been saying this, like I said, since Clinton was president and the school shooting happened. So let's just be realistic here. The Antichrist is not going to be the president because... Really, I think the whole thing started with that crappy Omen 3 movie. I think that's really where it all started, too. But seriously, the, this this whole thing of, you know, so-and-so is the Antichrist and the world's going to go straight to hell. Just stop. Just accept the fact that somebody else is in charge that you may not like. But don't blame yourself. Just, just sit back, relax, and see what the next four years are going to do. Which I say... There's not going to be much of a difference. But but having the Antichrist as a president, uh, grow up. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having an awesome day, night, or whatever you watch this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If, if, and if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And leave your thoughts down below about all this Antichrist president nonsense. Or President Antichrist. Who knows? There might actually be one who may one day call himself President Antichrist. Of course, we may all be gone before then. So take care of yourselves, and uh, let's keep trying to help people out who really, really need it right now. Let's stop trying to destroy the world, and uh, let's um, let's keep praying this virus nightmare is going to end very, very soon. So, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. Hope you're having <laughs> hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, I'm going to get on out of here and go get this bad boy uploaded. So um, try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. Till we do this again, as always, stay strong and rock on.